uh, well this is the same project that you all know where we left previously but um, I think I missed a few of the things when I wrapped a lot of things up basically first of the things was that I did not work in Git you can obviously use team uh, team services for everything that you need but um, I personally thought maybe maybe I should like work around with git too so for example mm, there are many things that you can use on Linux and etc and and many people uh, even if your tools also support Visual Studio team services many there are many people who consider using git more often as compared to team services so I thought I should uh, just get in really quick and show you how how you can enable git for your own project so for example um, if we go over to um, yeah where it is volume control yeah so if we come back over here you you, you saw that previously we had just this one the the team uh, services repository so and this is the git repository you can create a new git repository really very quickly for example if uh, we can enter hello git and this can be anything you can add a readme git ignore uh, other similar stuff you can find out more about these stuff on github or any other git um, guide or book or whatever that you might find on the internet or something somewhere else this is pretty much simple it's just the basic and default settings for your for your repository in git okay so let's just simply create it it's as simple as that fair enough created hello git master this is the main branch that gets created and this uh, this is uh, uh, this is the main uh, this is the main uh, uh, branch that you're going to commit to and if like for example you have other teams you can obviously go over here add no no sorry come back over here add users or add a view studio team services group basically th this is the stuff that I would like you guys to work on your own I don't have uh, uh, the identity set up for this so this won't show anything at all and secondly this is also a sample group that I'm currently working in so it won't show anything at all these are just kind of options these were the settings that you get access control so for example uh, in inherited allow etc or allow sorry and <laughs> under changes fine so this was the setting that you can like establish to create a new repository in for your for your team to work on so for example if one of your team has skills with team services they can work on this repository and then there comes a team that uh, that primarily works in git or there are some setups that require you to use git because there are uh, a few differences in git and team services uh, based on how the architecture is set up so you can select either one of them and this is the this is the process uh, using which you can like enable git while having the default for team services right so let's go over to here now that was the creation part right so after creating it you need to establish your uh, repositories so for example this is the default kit that I created previously and these are the default settings like for example how I can clone this repository onto my computer etc etc and this is the one that we recently created hello kit it has this file this is the master branch if you create uh, if you want to create new branches you can obviously create new branches over to here this is the default readme file that is if like for example if you want to edit it you can write over edit it here any history pull request etc so basically up to this point I have shown you how you can create a new git uh, uh, how you can create a new git repository so now let's head over and see how you can build this so uh, like I like I show uh, like I did show you that you can have two or more type of version control so one team works with this one and other team works with the git one 
so how how are you going to go around that and how are you obviously going to like build the git one and then you're going to build the team services one so th that setting is also pretty much neat and pretty much simple let's go back over to here okay so you just have to uh, go over to here new and the setting is simple i'm not going to build anything at all i'm just going to show you how you can set that one up so let's say our project is visual studio or, or even empty that doesn't matter because i'm not going to create any new build definition i'm just going to show you how you can do that uh, once you go over to here under repository you can you can select which repository you want to target so for example if my previous build definitions that were created over here um as you can see it does not show the repository anyway if you go over to here and you have selected this one the others one the other ones might not work they may and they may not uh, like for example i i do have the git repository but since this is a local git this one seems uh, this one might be more obvious for you this one might not be so let's say i'm just going to select one repository from my own project so i'm going to use this one and then i'm going to select which repository i want to target so for example sample project this is the team services then default git and you may have more and then the rest of the stuff is similar if you have more branches you can select which branch to target or which branch is your default one there might be other branches like developer etc so you can uh, you get to select uh, which one you're going to target which repository then default branch and then there these are other settings that i have also walked you around if you don't know how or what they mean i recommend that you check out the playlist that i just created for visual Studio team services you can find the link in the description of this video and that's it after this step if you create it you will have your git repository created and that is going to work side by side with your Visual Studio Team Services repository and you can have multiple teams working on either one of that and all of that will be maintained, managed and set up by Visual Studio Team Services. Thanks for watching. And if you, if you do have any questions, you can comment below and let me know if you want some more videos. I definitely look forward to keep making videos and many people do send me messages but i don't my or maybe you can say i can't keep up with them so well let me know how you how you find how you found this video of thank you